Hello there. I want to share another speaking activity today. This is a warm-up game, and it is a game that requires very little and perhaps even no preparation. So what you do is you have the students make pairs. You have one of the students face the back of the classroom, and their partner will be facing the front of the classroom. You then place a lot of words on the board. Now this is where the preparation would come in. If you were going to write them beforehand, and then put them up on the board, either as a slide or as a handwritten piece of paper, there's gonna be a little bit of preparation required there. Um, but you can just physically write them on the blackboard as you're doing this activity, so in which case there's no preparation. The idea of the game is that the students who are facing the blackboard will choose one of these words and then use the English they know to describe that word to the partner, sort of paraphrasing and then the partner will attempt to guess what that word is. Uh, it's a fun game. You give them two minutes to see how many words they can go through in their own time. And the point is there's no set grammar to it. Uh, there's no um, vocabulary per se. It's just them using their, their minds, using their own uh, thought process to try and use the English they've studied to describe that word to their partner and it's a fun way to start the game. Now obviously, because they're using whatever hints they want, there's no level to it. The students who are weaker in English can just use single words to try and describe it, and the students who are more competent in English can try to put sentences together. It's a really fun game. I used it a lot in junior high school. You could probably even use it in elementary school a little bit, as long as the students have a level of uh, vocabulary to put the hints out. It's really fun. So after two minutes, you're gonna switch, have the students stand up, change places, and again, uh, they will try to give hints in English to have their partner guess the word. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to change the words on the blackboard, so again, you might have to write some new words on the blackboard, prepare a slide ahead of time, and put a new slide up there. You can do it at the beginning of a lesson, and once they know the game, they can just get straight into it. There's no explanation required. So it just takes two minutes, switch two minutes again. Usually within five minutes, you've got through a warm up game. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. And if you like this and other stuff I do, just hit the subscribe button and the like button and all that good stuff. All right, thanks. See you later.